I am so sick of studying. Like, why did I not freaking start this last week? This is until tomorrow and I'm not even on the first word. I take out my report card. Throw some D's on that I take out my report card. Hello YouTube, I'm back, duh. Like you know this every Friday, got a new video on my channel, like duh. I don't know about you guys, but I hate school. So I needed all the advice that I could get. And I'm just willing to share with you guys the advice that I got, the things that I learned in my first year of university and kind of just give back to y'all. I'm just gonna tell you guys what it is when you go to university, college, or even high school, because some of these tips can apply to high school. You know what I'm saying? My first tip slash advice is do not, 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 do not take any 8 o'clock, 8.30 classes. My earliest class was 10 o'clock, just because I know who I think I am. Like, I know I'm not going to wake up at probably 6 o'clock to commute all the way to my school. I go to York University, YU, YU. If it's not mandatory, do not fool yourself and take it because you will not enjoy it. You probably might fall asleep. And your days is going to be long and drawn out. So when you're choosing your schedule, be realistic. My second tip is do not buy any school supplies. All that stuff you used to buy in high school, don't buy all that stuff. The most you need is probably like five pens, five pencils, two erasers, and your laptop. That's honestly what you need. But... Honestly, your school supplies depend on your studying habits. So if you're a person that likes to write out your notes, then you're gonna need supplies. If you're not, most likely you're gonna record the lecture and probably never ever watch it again. My next tip would be to get a USB. Oh my gosh, I wish I brought one downstairs. Just because like in university slash college, teachers don't play that. Oh my gosh, my assignment erased the night before. Man, please give me an extension. They don't play that. They do not, like, they're not the devils, but, like, your excuses have to be some really good excuses to get that extension, because they don't play that foolishness. And just because, like, sometimes you have to print something and you probably forgot to send it to your email, you always have a backup on your USB. Your computer could crash, all your files could wipe, anything can happen with technology, so always have a backup USB because it will literally save your career do not buy any of your textbooks until the first week of school <laughs> let me tell you guys and i'll just show you guys what happened i'm gonna show y'all what happened yo i can't believe my class is right beside the cap like come on but anyways i finally got my textbook this prop is not ready for your girl we got the textbook we got the supplies let's go let's go let's go first year Good morning class, we have an announcement. The textbook found in your syllabus, the human anatomy one, we won't be using it anymore. Sorry for the inconvenience because why we don't need it. So moving on with our lesson, this week's lesson will- Sir, you have got to be kidding me. Yes, just do not get any of your books until the first week of school because anything can change. You can probably even get to the class and realize it's not for you and you have all the books and you're just like womp 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 womp. Like sad story, cry me a river, you can't use the book anymore. Just give it some time. Time management. I am the biggest hypocrite to say this because I'm the biggest procrastinator of life. But in university slash college, your time management is key like you need to learn how to balance your schoolwork slash your personal life slash your your mental like you need everything time management is key if not academia will consume you it is such a dangerous place at times that it will really eat you alive but i promise you'll be able to do it have a planner have an agenda of your assignments your courses just so you keep track just because like in university in college the assignments that teachers give you, they might give you from the start of the year and they won't talk about them probably till the week before. And you need to remember these things because no one else is there to remind you. And you really got to remember because I'm sorry, they don't feel as bad for you as your high school teachers do. And that's just life, right? You're bigger, you're more responsible. You have to take responsibility for your actions and just kind of do your thing. My sixth tip is to always have a friend in your class. When you walk into your first lecture tutorial class, you literally look around and be like, 
oh, you might be my friend. Oh, you might be my friend. Just because you can't do it on your own kind of thing. Like you need somebody sometimes. You sometimes, sometimes you need somebody to be, have a friendly reminder and say, oh, remember the assignments due. Oh, remember so-and-so. Just because we forget we're human, we have other things on our mind. Make sure you go to your frosh in Canada or Toronto, I guess, or in Ontario. We call it frosh or wherever you are, your orientation week slash days, it is the greatest time of your life. Like, you get to learn things in that week about the school that you may not have known. You don't get lost on your first day of class because you probably already set aside time to go and find your class. You know where to find the best foods, you know your way around the school. Budget your money. This is paper, but budget your dollars. Budget your dollars. This is perfect paper because your school is collecting receipts on you. Receipts. They have receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt because you're giving them so much money. You can bring a lunch. Don't buy food every day. Don't be like Cheyenne Wilson and go to Thai Express where it's $12 and something cents every day and then go broke. <laughs> don't do that if you are a student that is working that has a job in school but you're still a full-time student please don't be that student that thinks that oh I'm going to take every single shift and I am going to be the best academic student ever please don't do that to yourself you I think these four or five how many every years you're gonna be there are so important to your life that if you can Take shifts only when you don't have class. I know the money is very important, but your schoolwork is also very important, especially if you are taking a student loan. We all know the disaster student loan. Get involved, join clubs, and do things that you want to do. If your friends aren't interested in something, but you are, do it regardless because end of the day, you're having fun. You'll meet people that you have things in common with. Don't put yourself second. Don't fall into peer pressure. Don't do it. If you feel like drinking is not for you, if you feel like smoking is not for you, if you feel like sex is not for you, if you feel like partying is not for you, if you feel like going to class late in the nighttime is not for you, if you feel like going to class early in the morning is not for you, don't do it. This is literally the years where you make the choices for yourself. Who doesn't like it can kick rocks. Who does like it, they can hang. Like, Don't be afraid if you are confused or you want to switch your program. Chances are, if you're gonna switch, you're not going too far from what you originally selected. So you probably can transfer credits, but don't stay in a program that does not make you happy. When you are paying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Personally, I got thousands and thousands of dollars right now. So I will not stay in something that I do not enjoy. Into the questions that I got, I got a few questions and I'm going to answer these questions. How do I make friends? This first question, be yourself. Honestly, make you make friends. I think the best friends that you make are the natural friends. The friends that you probably won't even see being friends with, but then you end up and you guys are tight. Make them naturally. Smile at somebody, wave at somebody, laugh with somebody. You'll make friends. The next question is, will you die? No, you ain't gonna die, nigga. I mean, ninja person. You're not gonna die. You're not going to, but you're not going to die. This is probably the most alive you'll ever feel in your whole entire life. For me, um, my next question is what's the hardest thing about university for me it was the commute there were so many things i wanted to participate in I like joining groups i like sports like i love sports i love being active more than anything or like even just to hang out with my friends and just like oh shoot the last bus is here you know kind of thing for me that was the hardest thing for me as a commuter student was the commute but other than the commute the actual university life i think the hardest thing is time management it's a harder workload, but you have more time, if you get what I'm saying. That's why time management is so important, because you do with your time what you want. Another question is, how will I get hoes? Abdul, I hate you. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll ask some of my friends. <laughs> my cousin said, sweet talk. Sweet talk to ladies. I don't know, I have a man, so this is not, this doesn't apply for me, but like, I don't know, y'all. Sweet talk. Show them that you're a smart, educated young man, because we are at school. And don't go up and be like, yo, hey, yo, ma, can I um, full shizzle hollow at you, ma? <laughs> like, make sure you're speaking English. 
have some poise, have some character, be different. Don't be like everybody else. I don't know if that's how you get the hoes. I know that's how you get a good girl. Next question is, will I gain 15 pounds? Let me tell you, I wish I gained those damn 15 pounds. See, I'm here trying to eat McDonald's and stuff because I didn't gain those 15 pounds. But other people, they did gain 15 pounds. I think it's also if you live on campus, it's easier to gain that 15 pounds than it is if you go home and eat home cooked meals and you kind of like manage your time. Some of the times you even forget to eat or you can't afford to eat at school. <laughs> There's bare times you're probably gonna eat rice, rice and um, butter, or um, crackers and water. Um, that's life. But how do you handle being the new kid in a school? In university and college, it doesn't matter. The school is so big, people don't care if they know you or not. You won't care that you know somebody or you don't. You kind of just be yourself. If you're in high school, I had that experience. I went to a high school in Mississauga in grade nine, and then I moved to Brampton for grade ten, and I wasn't. It was I wasn't for it. Like I was depressed. I told myself I was gonna eat um, my lunch in the bathroom every day, and that didn't happen. Just cause like I was still really shy in the beginning, but then. I just kind of brushed it off and said, this is my predicament. I'm going to have to be here, so let me do my thing. I literally have some of, some great memories with these people. So always be yourself and get involved. Get involved. School is not just to, you know, read and, you know, do your homework and leave. Get involved. Play sports. Join clubs. Be a part of a committee. Make your name known kind of thing. You don't want to just sit there and be another student on the attendance call. You wanna be that student when they call your name, they be like, I know him! How do I stay focused on my schoolwork? For me, the money that I pay or the debt that I owe is my motivation. But my next thing that motivates me to continue school is just kind of making my parents proud, making myself proud. Like, surround yourself with some positive people, some hardworking people, people that are determined to study like you are determined to study. Like I was happy to be surrounded by such influential great people y'all know who you are why you why you stand up even though i hate every little bit of it and i wish i could quit tomorrow and probably be a stripper i can tell you you're not the stuff when you got a big fat degree under your belt um don't be afraid step out of your comfort zone always be yourself be confident in who you are and know who you are and take this time to build that person you would want to be party get drunk have fun, I'm not gonna say the rest, cause <laughs> just have fun. Thanks for tuning in to That's So Shy, guys. And be sure to comment, like, and hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, we're going up. Thank you guys for all the love support that you guys continue to show me each week. I appreciate it. Because <laughs>